In this video, I'm going to show you how to make really good use of Join Push and Pull Extension tool in SketchUp. So let's begin. So in SketchUp, what you see is all those faces, all those forms that you create have different set of uh, geometry that is uh, usually hidden, and you can actually turn the hidden geometry on by going to view and click on hidden geometry this will give you the geometry of every face that is actually made of all those polygons and triangles if you see so in sketch you cannot actually extrude or intrude the uh, faces with this geometry it, it just shows like cannot push or pull because of the curved or smooth faces but if you just turn on the hidden geometry on then you can actually individually Push pull these uh, these uh, faces like this. Now this is where uh, joint push and pull comes handy. Uh, with this tool, you can actually push pull all those geometry at once without without even having the ge hidden geometry on. So there's different options that you get, and you can actually uh, see what all those options mean by just clicking on this uh, this launcher key. So first start with the normal push pull and when you click on any one of these tools you get to see all those additional options that you can alter or and uh, play with rather. So what this normal push pull tool does is it extrudes or intrudes the face that or uh, the hidden geometry from the same face that I also showed you earlier. So you can just uh, set wherever you want to offset this, uh, this geometry to and just click. So this is uh, a cool shape that you end up with that is made up of extruding all those uh, all those faces from that geometry that sphere had. You can really end up with having some more cool shapes and stuff from this too. So if I if you have this sort of a geometry and just click on it, you gotta see. Uh, sort of a cool shape that just forms out of it just set wherever you want to set this offset to and just click so you end up having this uh, cool form that you can make use of another tool from this extension is the extrude push pull tool so what it does is it extrudes uh, as it says it extrudes the face or from any form that you can actually do to where to whatever the offset you wanted to so you can actually make some really good use of this uh, this tool when you, when you're dealing or making some components in SketchUp Vector push pull tool from this extension also works the very same way, it just provides elevation or rather you can actually stretch the face to uh, do, do the edge that you want. So you can actually lock in this uh, this stretch by using the shift key. So if you just click or rather hit the shift key, you can actually lock this the lock this uh, stretch to do a to a specific edge or rather parallel to a specific edge or axis and you, know, you can also just click on the shift key again to actually unlock that so this way actually you can, you can make all those sorts of forms so another option that you have in this extension is the follow push pull what it does is it uh, works mostly as follow me too that you use normally to basically follow a face but with this tool you can actually follow all those sorts of faces with the sorts of uh, uh, polygons and geometry like this so you can end up having some real messy sort of or other sometimes cool forms out of this too So what it does is it just follows around that uh, all that uh, all the faces, 
And if you use it on a sphere, it will always end up making a sphere. You can always try and divide these faces into different sorts of divisions to end up having some new different uh, shapes and forms. So let's try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, set the camera as parallel projection and having the front view on what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have the hidden geometry also turned on. You can actually select these edges online and actually unsmooth them or rather turn the smoothness off so you end up having this line. This way you can actually divide this sphere into, uh, into more sort of additions. And again, and again turn the smoothness off or unsoften these uh, edges. And now if I just turn the hidden geometry off, I see the sphere is now divided into four parts. This way I can play with the geometry of these parts individually very differently. So in this part of the sphere, I want to use normal push-pull tool to end up having this, this surface. So maybe on this part, I will use a round push-pull tool like this. So this is what the difference is between round push-pull and the normal push-pull options. You can actually use a blend of the options available in this extension to make different sorts of forms. So in this shape or face, what I would do is I would use the fractal push pull to just push it a little bit like this and I say OK. And here, having the hidden geometry on, what I would like to do is maybe I would just uh, I would go with the normal push pull to have this sort of a surface and I say OK and the normal push tool what I would do is I would actually intrude these faces a bit and it can be random I'm gonna be so random like this and to basically end up having some uh, some cool sort of form and you can actually make use of this form in many ways.